right, it's this week's Money Minutes. Ryan Payne and Courtney Dominguez. <laughs> I would say with such enthusiasm. <laughs> uh, we're here, quintessential day, New York City, Nolita. Like, this is what fall is like in New York, probably perfectly as you can imagine. Um, one thing, Court, you know, we talk a lot about is savings. Yes. Right? Um, last year, we did a video about avocado toast, which was kind of a <laughs> joke about how millennials frivolously spend on things like avocado toast. But the reality of it is, millennials are actually saving a lot right now. Exactly. Yeah. And um, we get a really bad rap as millennials, and people think that we don't know what to do with our money, and that we're spending it frivolously, and we're not saving, and we're never going to be able to retire. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's not, not true. true. <laughs> That's the thing. Right. Yeah. So realistically, millennials are actually doing a really good job of saving. We're actually getting a jump start for better than the generations above us. Um, the average millennial is adding about 10% to their 401k, which is more than Generation X. And it's about the same amount as baby boomers who are at the final years of their career and writing the same amount of money to them, which is yeah. a big improvement. Yeah, which is a good point. Now, if you're putting money in your 401k and it sounds like you might be maxing it out, yep. the problem is you can't really touch that money until you're almost 60 years old, which yes. means if like you want to buy a house, um, you have short-term goals that you want to use money for, you can't use your 401k. So you really have to start to think about where you should be putting your savings for different types of goals that you may have. Exactly. Yeah. It's common advice out there to say, well, you should max out your 401k. But a 401k is a retirement account. It is meant for retirement. For those younger millennials, that could be 40 plus years that you're not planning on touching that money till. That is a long time. And you may be wanting to start a family, put the kids through college, all in that time frame. So there may be shorter term goals you want outside of retirement accounts for that reason. So it really comes down to goal planning, which yes. is easier said than done, but it's All a really goals. good exercise to do. Uh, we actually do have a tool for you guys where you can map out, okay, if I put accounts here versus here, it really will help you track how much money you can feasibly have at different stages in your life. Yeah, if you click the link below, we can get you that savings tool just to get you on track with where exactly you should be saving your money. Mm -hmm. So click below, you can talk to Ryan or I, and we are happy to make personalized goals for you guys and really help you figure out what is appropriate for you in your situation. And as always, be, be bullish. bullish.